What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and to this video uh, in which I wanted to cover compounds real quick. Has been quite bullish the last day, uh, especially against the market. I mean, it's up uh, seven, seven and a half percent, something like that. Volume is up 100% to almost 18% of the market cap right now. So that's actually great. Um, and I think Compound is a great project. I, I, I think I hold some of it on, on some sort of a wallet, but <laughs> I'm not completely sure. Um, it used to be quite uh, quite inflationary, but it isn't really anymore. Uh, there's only so much to give away uh, still. So yeah, let's get right into it. So the main thing when we're, we're looking at with Compound is this level right here. So that's quite, um, I didn't really create a key level for it, but it's it's something like this level. So between 138 and 133. And uh, what's going to happen with Compound in the upcoming days really depends on what we do at that level. Because if we manage to break that level, so that, that could be right now, uh, after breaking this 200 EMA, the golden line, um, but that could also be within the next three days. But if it takes longer than three days, we're probably not going to break that and we're probably have, uh, going to have the bearish scenario, uh, which would be if we do not break it or if we drop down to like 124 again, then I think it is more likely that uh, with compound uh, will just kind of consolidate because I do think this full key area will hold um, it's a little bit of a big key area um, I could have defined that a little bit more but the major uh, area within the key area is this around 118 and 116 so if we do not manage to break that within three days or we take a significant uh, rejection off of that level, then I think it is more likely we'll consolidate between 140 and 116 ultimately. Um, but if we do manage to break above 138 and, and it, it would be better to break above 140, but breaking above one, 138 would be fine as well. If we do manage to do that, then I think we could see some more bullish days for compounds because then we'll probably not going to have a bull run not within these market circumstances with, with bitcoin just over forty thousand, but yesterday it went to thirty nine thousand and stuff uh, but i do think we'll be able to start an uptrend to at least 160 um with some resistance at 146 and 152 but still that would be great for compound i think because that would actually bring us at levels we were at when the whole market was bullish again so if and and let's dream if the market becomes more bullish then being at these levels means that we're e more easily going to get higher local tops. Um, but that's a little bit too far in the future because we don't know which scenario is going to play out yet. As I said, really depends on this level right here. Uh, but having said that, that's basically my analysis. If you do have any questions about the analysis, please let me know down in the comments. As for now though, thank you all for watching and listening and I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.